this video we are going to create an amazing few reactions in photoshop cs6 extended it will be super fun so let's jump in photoshop welcome back everyone my name is adnan chaudhary from tasty tutorials and today we are going to create a few reactions so sorry fury photo effect and it will be super fun and amazing so let's start our work for this particular work i will use this image and let's just increase the area of this image so you could get more room to watch out the effects so we'll increase this by selecting crop tool like this click on check mark to accept these settings and then just click on this uh, foreground black color and click on this uh, uh, gray color and create a new layer unlock this layer simply just to get a new layer under this layer and press alt press backspace but it didn't apply it so what we'll do is we'll simply just delete these small sides <coughs> sorry small sides like this one delete delete and delete that's good now select both of these layers and press ctrl e to merge them into a single layer and just go to image sorry layer new layer and background from selected layer to make it a background with lock so now it's time to create a selection around this i have already created a selection with the, a hard fill brush so we'll fill this with a hard selection and create exact same selection you can see that file is included in the project file so you can easily download that and if you want to download these actions these are also included in our project file so you just need to go to the download link follow up your, the link and go to my blog and just download that file so now we have a background layer and a brush layer now it's time to load up these actions so click on this action file if you don't have this just go to uh, windows and click on actions sorry a uh, actions so time to load them so just click on this corner icon and click on load now when you will download these uh, uh, zip file there will be only one file which is named fury action file so click on this fury file and click on load i have already loaded into my list so i don't need to do this again just extract this and you will see that there are lots of processes including in this uh, single file sorry about the traffic and as you can see that the purge is already added so we don't need to go to edit purge so the brush name is same as this brush name so keep in mind that if you don't uh, understand what is the name of the layer will be so just create new layer and you will see that a uh, load is these actions and open these uh, we can say the extracted files and you will see that all the processes and take out first five or seven processes first two three four and five you can see that they are brush and it is included it means that the layer name should be brush so and one is background layer so we have a background layer and brush layer as brush layer so now time to run these actions and uh, it will take a little time to complete these processes because there are lots of processes including in this file so click on play the actions and wait for the processes to complete its work
okay so the process is done now just go to this uh, icon close this panel and just press ctrl alt and click on this uh, icon or arrow so it will close all these groups at once you are probably expert in that and now this is our final effect so what we can edit in that we can edit everything each and every particle each and every layer which is editable so you can just turn off these color settings open these color options there are lots of color options including this uh, in these actions look at this like you can turn off this and turn on these uh, fiery particles and change the color modes just may i think it should, we should just leave it uh maybe it should be more appropriate with this so we'll just turn on these uh, filters oh sorry turn off this one and just close these color options because we will use these default color options and click on fury and there we have a lots of things which we can edit like these little lights are not so visible so we'll just go to uh, uh check the vertical lights you can see that these are lights so we'll just press ctrl j to copy them and you can see that it will be visible more nicely so we can just do press ctrl j maybe it looks more nice and there are the particles you can just increase the strength like this one or you can just leave it as it is this is randomizer don't touch this glowing lines so these are glowing lines you can just increase the size of these glowing lines like just press ctrl and j and these glowing lines are bumped up and what el what else these are maybe fire particles sorry this is fire little small but you cannot see this effect flames you can see that just click on flames and maybe copy this to make it more uh, nice okay so these are our uh, photo filters so press ctrl j or you can just undo that because it looks more weird so it it is more decent here this is the color flames so you can even edit much more things you really want to edit so you can just turn off this background and just turn on maybe it looks more nice so this is all we can do in that so you can just play with setting some color options it's all depends on you how would you like to represent your image so i hope you like this video and uh, give it this video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel you will get more things premium things i will upload some text effects which are premium you cannot get free from anywhere so we will meet in our next video subscribe my channel and keep in mind never stop and keep learning